My next patron question is from Joey, who wants to know, how do you hold on to an opinion you have, even when it seems like everyone in the world disagrees with you, and even from those who give you a hard time about said opinion? Everyone has an opinion that's different from the consensus, and there can sometimes be that pressure to align with the majority on something. In this age of social media, it's not uncommon for people to loudly declare their opinion as the right one, or if someone is writing about a movie or show they love on Twitter and Facebook, another person could send a reply saying, now nah, that movie's terrible. I personally consider the latter to be an especially big social media no-no, as it's essentially throwing a cold bucket of water on a person who's just expressing the admiration for something. Like everyone, I have my own films I like where the popular consensus is not positive. I've made no secret of my genuine enjoyment for the Inspector Gadget movie. However, the general views of that movie have not changed much since the movie's release back in 1999. On Letterboxd, it sits at 2.0, just barely avoiding ending up in the ones. And on IMDb, it holds a 4.2 audience rating out of 10. And yet, I still stand firm in liking the movie and getting a decent amount of enjoyment out of its wacky sensibilities. While I understand why people find it an underwhelming adaptation of the animated series, don't find the jokes to be all that funny, and are not fond of the actors' performances, those elements have never bothered me, and I don't think my enjoyment of it will ever wear off. Now, are there movies where I get personally annoyed at the criticisms thrown at them and find them unfair? Sure. Tim Burton's adaptation of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory comes to mind. Now, this is an interesting one. The film actually got good reviews from critics on original release, with prominent critics like A.O. Scott and Peter Travers writing positively about it and receiving two thumbs up from Ebert and Roper. And I remember it being very popular with others my age when I was in school. But then some years later, it started being talked about more negatively. Although, to be honest, I did not see anyone outright hate on Charlie and the Chocolate Factory until a certain internet comedian made a video bashing the movie. That's when the tide seemed to turn, at least in my experience. Although even before then you had people who only felt the need to compare it to the earlier film adaptation rather than treating it as another take on the book. Or you had Johnny Depp's performance being compared to Michael Jackson, something that has never crossed my mind when watching the movie, as I see it as basically a repeat of his performance as Ed Wood, with a similar voice, mannerisms, and energy. And despite the consensus turning towards labeling it a bad movie, my opinion has remained largely unchanged, mainly because I never felt the criticisms were being all that fair to what Tim Burton was trying to do with the film. Curiously, a lot of people who grew up with the movie are now helping the consensus on Charlie and the Chocolate Factory to go back up. The actress who played Noodles in the recent Wonka prequel even revealed in an interview that she associated Willy Wonka with the Tim Burton adaptation and had never even heard of the 70s version. Sometimes you need to be patient and that movie you love that people are bashing will get a reevaluation. I also think of that Joker meme that gets passed around, where he responds, I do, and I'm tired of pretending it's not to Robert De Niro questioning his opinion on something. Interesting enough, The Rise of Skywalker is the movie that comes to mind when I see that meme. I thought it was a fun space adventure that succeeded in showing this battle between good and evil with a lot of exciting action sequences and visual flourishes, and I enjoyed seeing the interactions between Rey, Poe, and Finn in particular. Other people are not as kind, feeling it completely destroyed the Star Wars franchise. But even though it's been a regular punching bag since, well, opening day, my opinion remains unchanged. Although I will admit the reason I never made a defense of the movie is because the discourse surrounding Star Wars in general has made discussing the franchise not so fun. I also currently have no plans to make a defense of Disney's wish because of how weird people, even Disney fans, are with regards to that film. I don't mean merely disliking it. That's fine. I mean that it seems like people online cannot have a normal conversation about wish that does not turn into hyperbole or it was definitely made by AI. Although regarding my defense videos, I've always said the point of those is not to change people's minds, but rather to present a different perspective. Now, are there movies I revisit several years later and find my opinion dropping and more closely aligning with the consensus? Absolutely. But that's not because I've given in to peer pressure. It's just an example of how tastes can change and evolve over many years. If you love a piece of media that is widely mocked and derided, remember that's absolutely allowed, and you should not let someone else make you feel bad for getting enjoyment out of it. It's also why I've never used the term guilty pleasure, because why should I feel guilty for liking a movie? Thank you for your question, Joey.